How many of you joined for the engineering course without anyone's advice, by on your own decision? How can you say that you have chosen your life, your career by your own interest? How many of you? Great. You're thinking about it, right? Who inspired you to join this engineering course? Great. The first thing which you have to think about your your career will be your own decision. And when you turn back, when you think about your past, when you think about your decision which you have taken in your life will be deciding where you will be in after a couple of years. And that will be deciding your overall score after completing the course you have taken for your engineering or for your graduation or for your post-graduation. So I am asking you a question. Who need inspiration to do something? Why you need an inspiration to do something? Today, if you are here as a student of your own interest, as engineering, electronics, mechanics, computer science, whatever it is, if you have the taste, if you have the integrity, if you have the great wish to do a course in your own interest, why you want a force to do something by someone? In my life, I have questioned myself hundred times. Before I select, before I decide, I just want to be. But nobody questioned me. I questioned myself hundred times. So the importance of questioning us, you have to question yourself before you do something, before you act something. You will never live a lie any longer. In your life, you should have to be, you should have to be your moderator, you should have to be your rescuer, and that will give you the end result. And today, perhaps I will be the first trans woman who is becoming a part of a multinational company, and I am a senior HR in the organization called UST Global in Trivandrum. It was nothing because I am just a transgender. I am educated. I have the right workspace attitude and attending all the interviews with a well result. The organization decided to choose me as an employee because the employer has the right sense of selection in terms of the employee management. They have gone through all the questions. They have checked is the employee is relevant to fit, fit this position. And the right sense was my education. Today, I am a graduate. I am a postgraduate. Today, I am doing my LLB course. So here, when I think about, when I speak about education, the first thing that comes to my mind is, it's a knowledge gain process. Throughout your career, throughout your education process, you are getting a knowledge of the world to fight against your questions around. So how confident you are in and how able to fight against all the burdens across, then only you will succeed. So you are in a stage of learning something. So you have to make sure you are in the right path to carve your own path for your future life. As I said, my life is not a motivation for anyone. I will not consider that I am I'm a motivational speaker as well. But my life experience, I will tell a story of my life, how I just carved my own path, how I succeeded, and how determination and confidence helped me to be here in this platform. That was making a sense. How many of you believe in rebirth? You believe? Well. How many of you believe a rebirth in the same life? Is that possible? Yes? Great. I believe my confidence and determination gave me a rebirth till I'm 26. But the woman inside me is just one year old. This is the story of my personal life because of my determination and confidence to achieve goals. And this was not easy for me. But today, I get to live that dream. I born as Nishant, a shy introvert. I couldn't achieve goals in my childhood. And I don't want to remember those days were not colorful. 
Nobody supported me in my childhood, in school, and in my family as well. However, the things which I made today, only because of the effort which I've put forward, and the determination to continue my education, even without the support of my family. My family was not supportive at the age of my graduation. I came out from my family to pursue my education in graduation. I, I decided to do my graduation. Even the support was not there from my family, my mom and my sister. But the right decision in the right time will make you sense that you are on, you are just going ahead or you are just going forward. I disclosed to my sister at the age of 10 that I just wanted to be a girl. I used to paint my nails. I used to wear her saris when she was out of the home. And I used to do everything that a girl did at the age of 10 or 11. I was not confident to reveal in front of people that I just wanted to be a different person. And I'm trapped inside a male body that I just, kind of, I just wanted to come out of this. So it took 26 years to come out. And perhaps today I am the first trans woman who is becoming a part of a multinational company. And today I am controlling the operations of HR activities for 13 international countries. So, so the determination is the question in front of you that are you on the right path? Are you on the right track? This incident I'm going to tell you that was a turning point where I found myself confident and I found myself by a 13 years old girl. I was traveling from Trivandrum to Kochi after an interview with my two friends. They are working in a school as teachers. They are just sitting my right and left. The 13 years old girl, she's just opposite to the train in the seat with her parents. So when I get into the train and go to her seat and I was comfortable, I was just talking to my parents, I mean my sister. And she was suddenly looking at me and you know she was very curious. She was looking at me like a stranger, where I came from. At that time I was not getting into USD. Before getting into USD, the incident happened. And she was asking to her parents that is it a male or a female? She was laughing and I was questioning myself why she is laughing at me. Why I am strange? Why I am different from a normal male or a female? And both of them sitting beside my friends, they got what the matter is going on. I just started talking to the girl. But the parents stopped. Why you want to talk to my girl? You are not supposed to talk to my girl. I asked out of curiosity, ma'am, what happening? I just wanted to ask that girl, ask your daughter, you are not supposed to talk to her. What you want to know, I will tell you. I just asked her, how old is she? This is none of your business. My friends stopped me from talking that, Zara, please, they go to know that the issue is going to be, might be worst. No, I said, this is the childhood. They have to understand what is a transgender or the people who and from the sexual minority or whatever they are coming, wherever they are coming from, they wanted to know right away because this is the grassroots level. They will know things well now. And once they came to know such a group of their a group of people are in the community, they will start accepting them as well. But I couldn't give a sensitization or I couldn't give a proper knowledge about how a transgender or how what is a transgender to that girl. I couldn't communicate with her, I couldn't talk to her because her parents were not supportive. So what I just wanted to tell you is when you learn something, when you just started to know or get to know something, Please try to understand and accept it. So I just said, when you go back to your school, ask your teacher and get things well. So my friends educated the parents that this is the concern. 
and they accepted it and they said, I'm sorry, we are sorry. No need of saying sorry, no need of showing empathy. The time we just understood something, just to accept it and give them a space for themselves. If we all look together, if we all are same, if we do the same thing, if we, do, if we eat the same thing, how boring and dull existence that would be. So there will be a, a, a science of diversity. If diversity can add more colors to the universe, why can't we acknowledge it and accept it? And today, I feel I am one of the soul. I found myself. I create my own world. I count myself, my life journey. So let me ask you, how many of you could able to understand who the real in you and that revealed in the society or in your family or your friends? How many of you could able to show your strengths in the society? And the very important thing is what you're doing about it. Thank you so much.